Canon are planning on releasing more lenses this year to make the RF lineup even better. I've got all this information from Canon rumors, so I will leave the link in the description below if you are interested. So let's just get straight into the article. So there's actually two articles on Canon rumors up here, as you can see. And the first one that's come out today, June 24th, is the Canon RF 135mm f1.8 coming in the fourth quarter of 2022. And it actually says CR3. And if you don't know what a CR3 is, on uh, Canon rumors, it basically, if you click down here, as you can see, a CR3 is a fact. So this is happening. This lens will be coming out later this year, it's confirmed. We use this rating when we're sure we know we're posting a fact. So they won't post a CR3 if they don't know it's a complete fact and they, they know it's 100% true. So with this being a CR3, we will have the RF 135mm f1.8 L lens in our hands later this year. Now this is really exciting because 135mm f1.8 is probably such a really popular lens and it was one of my favorite lenses because when I had my old Fuji system, I had the XF 90mm and obviously because that's a crop sensored camera, 90mm is the same equivalent to 135mm on full frame. So I had 135mm f2 and that lens was unbelievable, it was so sharp, the shallow depth of field you got was unbelievable, it was the compression you got was so nice, so the fact that Canon are releasing an RF version of their own 135mm f1.8 lens is amazing and this lens is probably going to be really really expensive and probably going to be worth it as well to be honest because I think this lens is going to be unreal like obviously the 70-200 f2.8 has the 135mm focal range in it but it's an f2.8 not an f1.8 so you're still going to gain so much more light by having this prime lens over the 70-200 Plus that background is gonna be even more blurry as well. You'll get even more shallow depth of field from it compared to that as well. So as you can see in this here, we've confirmed yesterday's report about two new full frame RF mount lenses, which we're gonna get into in a minute. And then our assumption is that they'll be announced in the next few weeks have been incorrect. So basically, I'll talk about this in the actual next uh, article we're going to be talking about. They're also saying here, third lens is going to be announced in November, which is the RF 35mm f1.8. We're not sure if it's got image stabilisation or not, though. It'll be really nice and a lot more expensive if it does have image stabilisation, but they're not sure yet. Obviously, we're going to find out later on this year. But then it says they think that the RF 135mm f1.4 has been on their roadmap for quite a while. Uh, they, that, they thought that was going to come out. However, however instead of a 1.4 version, it will be a 1.8, uh, which basically is going to be even probably better for most people because obviously it's going to be a lot cheaper than an f1.4 version. And then also here, there's been no word on an RF 35mm f1.2. Now, an f1.2 35mm would be amazing, but this article is basically saying that there's not much to say really, apart from we're going to be getting 135mm f1.8. So that's really, really good that we're going to be getting that lens. I'm probably guessing it's going to be in between 1,000 and 2,000 for that lens. Um, it's probably going to be one of Canon's best lenses. Let's be real here. Like it's going to be amazing, super sharp. Uh, but that's basically the end of this article. So let's actually go on to the other article. Um, which is actually the link here, what they were talking about, these two lenses here. So this was from yesterday, June 23rd, but while, by the time this video is posted, it'll actually be uh, Thursday, so two days ago. Uh, is Canon prepping the announcement of two more lenses? It looks that way. And then, as you can see, uh, it says, Canon is going to continue to announce new RF glass during 2022 as they try and um, catch up with the backlog of planned releases hampered by the supply chain issues. And then one of the rumoured lenses is going to be the RF 24mm f1.8 macro lens, which is um, obviously really nice. 24mm is a nice wide angle lens. The fact that it's macro, I'm not too sure about macro and wide angle lenses. There's some people that like it and it's nice to get up close like with my 35mm f1.8. That's a macro lens, well, 1 to 2 macro, which I imagine this would be the same, a 1 to 2 macro. And it's nice to get up close, uh, like for product photography and like some B-roll and that. But it's nothing like a true macro lens, so it's still nice and an option to have. And it's probably going to increase the price of this lens just to make it a little bit more expensive for them. And then accessories here says EW65B, E52-2, uh, and then LP1016. Um, I don't really know what that means, to be honest. If you do, uh, please leave a comment below explaining what this actually means, like the accessories. Um, and then another uh, rumoured one uh, is the RF 15 to 30 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6. Um, and then with accessories EW73E and then E672. Again, I don't know what that means, so if you do, please leave a comment below. But the RF 15-30mm is going to look like 
uh, something to do with a very budget kit lens as it's got a variable aperture 3.5 to 5.6. The zoom range is nice, uh, so you could actually be, uh, this could be actually a nice budget zoom lens, um, like a vlog lens or something, nice landscape lens, 3.5 is not too bad at f15, obviously it goes up to 5.6 at 30 millimeters. So this could be a nice little lens for beginners to have, it's got image stabilization, which is really nice, and then the STM motor. Uh, so it's not going to be a lens that I'm going to be looking at and probably a lens that most people are going to be looking at to be honest because it's that budget variable aperture lens but it's another lens that can and I'm going to be offering to beginners like if you're going to get an RP or if you're going to be getting a new like R7 or an R10 then this lens could be nice to pair up for that obviously it's going to be cropped in uh, so you're going to have to look at the cropped value so it might be more of like a 30 millimeter to a or maybe like a 28 millimeter or something to a 50 millimeter. I don't know, but another decent lens, but I'm more interested in this 24 millimeter F1.8. But yeah, them three lenses, the RF 24 millimeter F1.8, the RF 15 to 30 millimeter F3.5 to 5.6, and then the RF 135 millimeter F1.8, which I think is the most anticipated lens of this year for Canon, are all coming out later this year, apparently. So very exciting. Canon are gonna to continue to pump out more cameras and more lenses, and at the end of the day, that's only going to be a good thing. All right, then, so that's the end of the article. So very exciting stuff. If you found this helpful and informative, why not hit that like button and subscribe to see more news videos like this in the future. Also, a new thing that I've tried is there's actually a link in the description below to my Koji profile, and it actually has all my external links to like TikTok and my website if you want to go check them out. It also has a support a channel section where you can actually leave a little tip if you'd like to help me out, and I can actually put that money towards like more gear in the future that I can actually review for you guys. Completely optional, it's actually made by a channel called Film Booth to help smaller channels like me with monetization. So I'll leave his channel in the description below as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later.